Education Football. My name is Curly and this is Lavers, aka Big Pig. We're going to be travelling around the UK trying to find things to do in different cities and towns. Our first stop is Ipswich. Have you ever been to Ipswich? I've never been to Ipswich. We need a travel guide. We need someone who knows the town. Maybe someone who was born in the town. Maybe played in the youth team at Ipswich and then went on to make his first team debut at the age of 17. Someone like that who will have an understanding of what Ipswich is about. It's quite niche. There's only one person for the job. Here and me and Lavers are coming down to Ipswich uh, for the first time. We're looking for somewhere to eat, somewhere to drink and something to see. We're after your recommendations. So let's start with somewhere to drink. Uh, it's a place called Isaacs. Massive, they have massive screens. Loads of people go to watch the football there, so there's a great atmosphere. If you want a more chilled, especially when the sun's out, the place to go and drink because they have lovely outside lounges. You can drink inside is Aurora, which is further down the road. So um, knowing you two, probably all day boys when we'll be drinking from 12 o'clock all the way through. Get yourself down Aurora. Okay, so we have arrived in Ipswich. Uh, the weather is absolutely shocking. Something that Kieran Dyer didn't warn us about. And Lavers has opted for the, <laughs> I'm running at 10.30 in the morning and then going out at night. What, what are you wearing? Uh, I didn't check the weather, so. You didn't check the weather? It is what it is. But if we have to run away from anyone, it's good to go. It's like being abroad. It's like being abroad, but with worse weather. In English weather, yeah. Knows his way around the camera, this lad. First impressions of Isaac. Right, I know we're sitting outside on our own, but it is absolutely ramoed in there. It's a very big, spacious pub. Mm. The football's on. There's about 50 different screens. There's a private little area at the top. There's a rooftop bit, which is closed off, unfortunately. It's all undercover, so you can come down here with your mates, for a little Saturday sesh and just enjoy the football. How much was your ass balls? Uh, well, both of them together, it's 7.90. 7.90, so yeah. that's... That's good. That's good. London prices. London prices, that's... you're looking at double that. Closer to a tenner. Closer yeah, to a yeah. When the weather's nice, look at your view. Hey, you've got those boats. Costa del Ipswich. Right, while we make our way over to Aurora Bar, here's Kieran Dyer with a story about his first away day with Ipswich Town. With the budget they had, you had to get on the, the coach all the way up to the teams, especially the teams up in North. And um, because I was the young lad, I had to basically be the, the waiter for all the players, the manager and the staff. So basically for a six hour coach journey, I didn't sit down. I was, we had a microwave um, and we had loads of dishes like lasagnas that you had. So I had to feed all the first team players, make sure they had their drinks, make sure they had their teas, make sure they had their coffees. Then when you just think you've fed and give everyone a drink, you go to sit down and then someone would want another lasagna or another drink. So um, there was times even when I was playing and starting the first team game, when we travelled away, because I was the youngest, I would still have to do it all. But OK, I was a waiter, but at the end of it, at least I'm playing first team football and playing 90 minutes of football. And that's all you wanted to do at that age. So, uh, so yeah, I was the, I was basically the servant of uh, every single one on that on that coach. Knowing you two, probably all day boys. The best place to eat in Ipswich is a Chinese called Trongs. The food is top class. The owners, the staff are very friendly. If you do get in there, I'd go for the um, lettuce wraps with minced chicken. It's oh, it's a small restaurant. They only have like eight or nine tables in there. Yeah. It's very hard to get into. Welcome to Trongs. Oh, you said this would be hard to get a table. Tell us how many should we just order like, loads of little things? For you, mate. Oh, cheers, man. <laughs> Date night. <laughs> Can we get, please, the lettuce and minced chicken, some seaweed, some duck with pancakes, please, egg fried rice, mm -hmm. beef in a black bean sauce, is it Hong Kong chicken? Sweet and sour chicken. chicken, yeah, that, please. Yeah. I've ordered quite a lot of food there, mate. <laughs> okay. It's like a mask. Yeah. Get it a chicken. Get it on there. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Have you done this before? No, nope, never. Got it. First bite. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
What is it, mate? Hello. Bye, Charlie. Decent, okay. Cheers, Kieran. How's the chaps? This guy. I can't do it. I can't do it. Hang on. Oh, yeah, he was the one you recommended. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good guy. Yeah. Good people. Any stories? Yeah. Any good nights here? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> you can be calling me. Lose pace for dinner. Lose pace for dinner. Credit card roulette. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh you went. Oh, no. Oh. One, two. Oh. Yeah, free dinner. So there you have it, we are leaving oh. Trong's <laughs> very full. Uh, what was your favourite part of the meal? Uh, sweet and sour chicken. Sweet and sour chicken. I'm going to say the lettuce and minced chicken. Yeah, okay, Kieran, nice. what a recommendation. It was, it, was it was all very good and they are such lovely people in there. It did however feel like a cheat day. It was very much a cheat day. And for me um, a cheat day because um, I didn't have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah cheat <laughs> day okay. for you and a cheat day for me. When I spoke to Kieran, I asked him, as a footballer and a top athlete, how many cheat days was he allowed? I had a cheat day every day. That's why I broke down with injuries at the later part of my career. Honestly, it was just like, it was like me, Titus, Jermaine, we had so many young single boys living on our own. It was like McDonald's, Nando's, Pizza Hut. It was just like, relentless. so I had a lot of cheat days. So here we are, we have made it to Portman Road home of Ipswich Town. We are going to go check the club shop out first to see what kind of merch they're selling because we want to pick up a little gift, a uh, little memoir of our trip to Ipswich. Let's go. Ipswich Town flat down. <laughs> Suits you, mate. Oh, got a big old head. <laughs> Lavers is trying on the new kit. Very blue. Eau oh, de parfum. You've switched down. Have a little spray, lovers. A little review. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> big part of Ipswich and big part of Ipswich's history is Sir Bobby Robson. He's got a statue outside the stadium. Hey, Sir Alf Ramsey as well. We've got two of the greatest England managers of all time who were Ipswich town managers. So they've rightfully got stands named after him and Sir Bobby's got his statue. So. That's worth taking a look at. Sir Ralph Ramsey. He was the Ipswich town manager from 1955 to 1963, winning the Division One Championship, 1961, 1962 season. And then he went on to manage England. And we all know what happened in 1966. He is the only English manager to win the World Cup. Sir Ralph Ramsey, you absolute legend. Can't get him in. As we're walking off our Chinese from earlier, they got us thinking. Lavers has got a question. <laughs> okay, we want to know what's your favourite cheat day meal. Ooh. And just a short walk up the road, statue number two, Sir Bobby Robson. Legend. What a man! What a legend! He was Ipswich Town Manager from 1969 to 1982. He won the FA Cup in 1978 and the UEFA Cup in 1981. He then became the England manager in 1982 to 1990, reaching the World Cup semi-final in 1990. What a footballing legend. Job done. We're done. Ipswich, tick. What we a got place. absolutely soaked. What a place indeed, yeah. lovers. We had some lovely drinks down by the docks. We had some great food down at Trongs. Oh. Oh. And we came to Ipswich Town and met two absolute Ipswich legends. That's it. We're done. We're going to go dry off. But please, subscribe to the channel, like below, and get involved. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs>